This is uh, my D-bit grinder that I bought some time ago. I don't know if I've even shown it. Um, it takes uh, 5C collets, which I was really uh, excited about purchasing it. It's a used unit. I paid uh, 600 for it. I thought it was a fair price. And it's quite dirty, so I started taking it apart. And I'm finding some issues that I need to fix. Um, this, we, I just set it up on this little cart. Got the vacuum underneath it. Um, have a uh, power source there and uh, I took the, the light that was on the unit was a piece of junk so I'm using the stem for the light to hold my vacuum and then I have one of these um, oh, IKEA lights that were selling for 10 bucks um, back in the day so they, they work well so here is the issue You can see that that stud is bent there. You can see the marks on it. I checked it with a file and it's not hardened. Um, I doubt that I could straighten that again. I'd probably just snap it right off. Not straighten it again. I haven't tried. Um, I decided just to uh, go ahead and make a, uh, make a new one. You can see it's got a hex, hex Allen key hex head on it, which is metric, but a 3 8 fine, the metric uh, handle fits that also. So I'm going to turn the diameter down on that, turn the diameter down on that. You can kind of see there was threads on this original one, whatever they made it out of, and uh, offset it and make the pin. So it should be a fun little build, and may bring you along. Well, since I have the uh, 5C collet chuck uh, in the Monarch here, might as well start off. So I'm holding the bolt on the threads. I'll turn the outside diameter of that. And then uh, I'll have to pull this out and put in a four jaw. All right. Who let Charlie in the shop? That didn't work. Somebody can't read a caliper. <laughs> I'm glad it happened on the first start here. So I had to share with you. Well, got lots of Allen bolts. We'll start over again. That was uh, just a total, I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, that looks a little, uh, a little more reasonable. chamfer they have in there. Now we ain't doing that. Come on, shut off. Okay, I couldn't leave it like that. Get it under some light. So I did chamfer it. So they look similar. Once uh, I blew this one, it'll look better. And I have to show you, uh, here's a... Uh, 100 degree chamfering bit that someone's actually uh, took the point off it a little bit. The other day at the flea market, in a purchase, I ended up buying all of these chamfers. And there's uh, 82s, 90s, 100s, and uh, what else in there? But anyway, whole uh, whole selection of them. And uh, I mean, this is a big boy. Nice, uh, they're all pretty good shape. I have to apologize for some of the background noise. Right now my three phase is running, and typically uh, if my air compressor is on, this uh, electric solenoid there is humming, and that's what you were hearing also. I shut the uh, solenoid off. So, I've got the uh, part in the uh, fore jaw. Haven't indicated it yet, but uh, if anybody saw the competition at the bash, where I was against Tom Lipton and he handed me my lunch very quickly, <laughs> I thought I could do a lot better. But wow, I, I was not anywhere close. Anyway, 
So I started uh, putting the jaws uh, closer and closer, and I thought, I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. Just take, put the bolt in the chuck, bring it up, put it there, bring the jaws down, and uh, it should be damn close. So uh, let me get fired up here, and we'll see how I did. Okay, got the part rough to size. And I even managed to leave a little threads on there to match the uh, original. <laughs> uh, not that I tried to do that, but hey. So now I got to move over to uh, center up on this boss in the fore jaw and cut that little boss. Moved over, so we're ready to uh, start cutting it. You can see I put a little drill point right there, just to see where I was on center, and I think I'm pretty good. So I'm going to start turning. Success. 115 thousandths and flush with the outside. Okay, got the parts made. The part made, not parts. And uh, happy with how it turned out. Now just to uh, cold blue it and it'll match.